Oh, simple enough. This doesn't look so daunting. Oh no, we're gonna high center. Come on. Look at that. The suspension's working. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, uh oh. Oh, we're stuck again. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, giving you guys a first look at Rover Builder. Rover Builder is a vehicle building game similar to something I would say like Scrap Mechanic, maybe a little bit of Brick Rigs, maybe a little bit of Besieged. And what it is, it's an early access game where you have these sets of missions and you have to build a vehicle based on the objective for that mission. So I'm definitely excited to check this game out here on the channel. Uh, it looks really promising. It is an early access right now. If you want to check this game out, the link will be down in the description. And if you want to see more of this game on the channel, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, let's jump right into this. All right, Rover Builder, let's go ahead and start a new career here. We're going to go ahead and go with, of course, Komodo. All right. And here we are. This is going to take us out to the Mission Control Center. Now, these missions here, we've got two planets. Uh, we're going to start on planet one here. And the really... I mean, they are simple missions, I guess. Uh, looks like the first couple missions, maybe the first three or four missions, are really just a travel from one side to the other. But you can see the terrain kind of gets a little funky on some of these. So, realistically, I have to figure out how to build a vehicle. I was looking at some of the systems earlier, and this is pretty advanced. Uh, I kind of started on some... Actually, I don't know what this is. This isn't mine. Huh, it's kind of weird this is all in here. Trust me, I'm not that good at building yet. So let's go ahead and delete all of this real quick and we'll go ahead and jump fresh in here. And I'll try to explain as the best I can. Uh, they do actually have a pretty decent tutorial on uh, what's going on here in the game and how to build because I was completely lost at first. Uh, so we're going to try our best here and try to put something together. Okay, so we're going to start off. This is the power source. Everything needs to be built off the center piece here. And to build stuff, it is all really based on the camera position. So you can see this little grid here. That is where you're going to build off of. So if you're going to kind of adjust the camera around, which this takes a little bit of getting used to at first. Uh, I'll have to admit, it kind of threw me off to play it. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm having a lot of issues here. But once you get used to it, it's actually not too bad here. So uh, we're going to build a rover. It really just needs to get to point A to point B. So we're going to start off with a bit of a frame here. So you select your parts here. We're going to select the steel and you start dragging and we're going to create a bit of a frame. Uh, let's go ahead and start like that. And uh, let's go ahead and just go out like this and we'll go ahead and maybe make like a cross beam. We'll make one about right here. I'm going to leave this back section open because we're actually going to do something with that. So. Let's go ahead. Actually, I made this one side a little too big here. That's one thing that's a little awkward about the camera is sometimes you overdo certain beams uh, like I did there. So we've got this. It's going to connect the cross beam there. And what we need next, we need actual suspension here. So to create suspension, you're going to want to start off with like an axle. And by the way, there's a fantastic tutorial in here to show you guys how to do this. So we're going to put an axle right here and it's going to connect in. Now, anything that you connect to the axle will freely move. So we're going to do a couple arms here off of this and we'll set it up that way. We'll go ahead and go with, uh, let's see, we're going to start, let's do the bottom arms, arms first. We'll go ahead and start and angle them down like this. We're going to have a big suspension on here and we'll go ahead and do it like this. So that arm or these two arms should freely move and we're going to go ahead. This is where we're going to mount our wheels here. So I believe those are even. So we've got that part. Okay. So we are in position to do the top arms. I think if I start the arms from here, it should still technically be on the axle. So we'll do about like that and we'll make these arms go outward like so. All right, so we've got that. We're gonna go ahead and place some suspension here, or springs. And you can connect these anywhere. So obviously these are free, so you want these connected about like that, I would guess. And maybe we can cross connect these. Maybe that would work. And at any point you can actually test this. So if we hit the go key, this should bounce off the ground. That actually looks really, really rigid. Almost like it, it's not working quite the way I want it to. So let's go back into the garage here. Let me examine this real quick and see what might be wrong here. 
We might extend these arms out. Let's go ahead and stick some wheels on it real quick and see if it's truly as rigid as it looks. So we're going to grab wheels. You can grab them, drag them off like this. There's only one size wheel right now. I'm sure they're going to plan to add some more here. So we'll grab this. Uh, we need to rotate this one because we want to, this is going to be the back of the vehicle. So we'll scroll the mouse wheel and you can see where the arrow, arrows kind of line up here. So we'll do that. So there we go. That's the back of the rover. That looks even. I'm still a bit concerned that the suspension is not quite moving. Let's go ahead and drop it one more time. Let's get here where we can see it a bit better. Oh, it is bouncing. Uh, I see some flex right there. And if I can move the camera, you can see where the, uh, the arms here are kind of down. So this is potentially going to work. So we've got that. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's make it look a bit like a rover. Let's go ahead and build a bit of a where maybe a cockpit would be. So let's do that and let's make a, can I make an angle like that? No, I can't quite angle it like that. Uh, realistically, there's a little bit of limited movement as far as like, say if you want to connect this piece here to the top here, it doesn't want to quite do that. You can see how it moves on the grid here. So uh, we'd have to do something like maybe, maybe we'll connect about like that. That looks pretty good. So do that, we'll do a cross beam. I do think you actually have to have some sort of structural integrity here, so uh, I do believe the vehicles can break apart. I could be wrong about that, but from what I was reading here. So there's the basic start of the rover. We need to move on to some sort of steering next, and this is where it gets a little bit harder. Okay, so what we're going to do here, let's go ahead. We're going to make some sort of steering system. Let's make this come off just a bit more from the main body. I gotta measure this right because I don't want the back end really high off the ground. So, what we're gonna do here, let's go ahead, we're gonna make almost like a box here, just to make this come down a bit. Uh, this might look a bit goofy, but this is my first rover, so this is a, it's excusable. So let's go ahead and do something like that, box wise, and let's go ahead and just connect it into itself here. So it kinda looks like a, a bit of a frame. Sorry about the camera here, I've kinda <laughs> zoomed in really far. Okay, so from this is where we're gonna actually have our steering. This is a bit of a, I would say it's a long rover. Uh, that might not be too good, we'll have to see. So we've got that. We might make some uh, support beams on the bottom here before we actually test this thing out. So we're gonna grab two more axle pieces and we're gonna do just a single, let's do a double wide here. So axle pieces going down so we can freely rotate off this and then I believe we're gonna go out. This might be a bit of a fail here. I gotta remember what I'm doing here. So we're gonna make another couple little arms come out this way. And then we're gonna have two more axle pieces going upwards here. So we'll have one here and we'll have one here. And then I believe this is where we need to, I think we need to create our actual arms where the wheels are gonna be mounted. I think right in this area. So let's position the camera out. Actually, I would like that to be even with the rears here. I don't know if we're out too far. We'll try to mount wheels to this real quick and see if this is where we need it positioned. Let's go ahead and grab our wheels. Let's go ahead and mount these. Uh, you're gonna need to go forward like that. Okay, so, oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back a bit. Okay, that does look even. It does look a bit goofy and stretched out at the moment, but we should be able to change this. So let's go here and here. So. We look to be even. Okay, so we've got that started. Now, what we're gonna need here, uh, we're gonna make a steel beam go across the top of this axle. So that should basically be free. And what you wanna grab, you wanna grab one of these steering boxes and we'll stick it here. Now the steering box, the way it works, if you, uh, you can actually map the keys however you want. Uh, it's gonna move these little gears and slide it left to right, but that's not gonna do anything. So say if we were to go down like this, uh, let's see. The steering box, you would hit A and D here, so let's get in position. And actually, what is this? This might not even be hooked up to A and D. Uh, you can always select a part and go to uh, options to see what it's actually set to binding wise. So it looks like it's actually set to uh, left arrow and right arrow. So let's go ahead and hit go. Drop that. So, hold on. Come on camera, work with me. It's a little, uh, it kind of sways a bit once you're in the actual uh, uh, like I guess the live mode. So you're gonna see that uh, that little steering box is moving left and right. So 
what we want to do, we want to keep that steering box stable and still, and we want it to be able to actually move this part here. So let's go back to the garage. I believe I'm doing right. I'm gonna look like a complete idiot if this doesn't work. Uh, let's go ahead and hook up. Actually, let's hook into the top of the box here. We probably could get away with a single, like right into here. So I believe that's connected. So if we were to hit go here, go back down, do our front wheels turn? Look at that, they turn. Oh, you know what? That steering arm might not be big enough. I'm pretty sure this thing does not have a good turning radius. Probably turns a bit like a bus here. Don't know. I mean, I could correct this all probably fairly quick. I can extend the uh, the wheels out and then we'll extend this front section real quick. Uh, we're gonna do that. And I think that would give us a little bit better turning radius. Cause I feel like this might be a bit limited. Uh, but we might just try it out first. I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and put it back on the uh, lift here. What I want to do real quick, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more steel beams here. So we'll add them up into the box. Actually, we need to get on this side. Uh, let's see. Let's add this one up into here. And then we're going to make one beam come down. Go into the front there. Let's go down here. One beam there. And then we'll put a cross beam right here. All right, that looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye. I think we are about ready to go here. Now you're seeing motor, uh, but you don't have to worry about that. All the wheels are actually powered themselves. I believe this motor for, could be for something like a crane or some sort of actual functional mechanism that you would have on the vehicle. So I think we are about ready to try this thing out. All right, so we're going to give this thing a quick test before we try to tackle that first mission. Let's go ahead and go to go. I believe we can drive around the garage here. So uh, I think I have my arrow key set to, okay, one is forward, two is back. You know, I think I need a cross beam uh, right here because you're seeing the suspension. It's almost like kind of going together. So that's one flaw that we can fix. Let's try this turning. Oh, my. This thing has got the turning of a bus. <laughs> this thing is a little ridiculous. All right, so there are my two flaws. We're gonna make the wheelbase uh, probably a couple blocks wider, and then I'm gonna extend that front arm out. All right, so we just rebuilt the front section again. Basically did the same thing. We might do a cross beam down here. I just wanna see if this thing actually turns a little bit better. And of course we extended out the rear, so let's go ahead and go down real quick. And uh-oh, all right, so apparently that piece didn't actually stick. I will see. I want this to be a little bit more springy here in the back. Looks like it's sagging a bit, but let's go ahead and just try the basics. Does this work now? Oh yeah, the turning radius is much better. It does feel a bit wobbly, so we might need to have like another cross beam under. So maybe we can add another steering mechanism to the bottom side of that. Uh, it actually, yeah, this is working pretty good. This is a little bit better than what we had. So let's go ahead and do one final little tune-up, and we're going to go out to the mission here. So... Let's make a spring go down. Let's do it about like this here and here. So get a little bit more uh, bounciness in the back. Uh, let's see. Still got turning. Still got turning. And the back seems a lot better now. So let's go ahead and teleport out to the mission area. And we'll just see if this thing works. All right. Here we go. Oh, here we are. We are in the mission area. So we really just have to tra travel to the red telepad. Oh, simple enough. This doesn't look so daunting. Oh no, we're gonna high center. Come on, look at that. The suspension's working. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, uh oh, oh, we're stuck again. We're stuck. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing to turn. Uh, that could be one of our flaws. We set maybe a little too low off the ground. Come on, get some grip, get some grip. Oh, we're gonna have to reset here. Okay, well, there's. Uh, that's how you learn that your vehicle doesn't work. All right, so attempt number two here. We are going to try to avoid the really, I want to call it the humpy part. Uh, that's right over there. And Oh, we have already run ourselves. Yeah, this is a flaw to the vehicle. We need to set higher up. And I think we actually just broke something. You see one of the beams just disconnected itself. All right, so yeah, there is damage. Uh, let's try to stay on this side over here. I'd be happy we just got through one mission, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, come on, I got to get those tires to grip. There we go. Let's try to take it on like this. Yeah, we definitely need to be setting higher off the ground, but we're going to be able to power through it here. So there's the first mission is accomplished. We got a little, little scoring system here or something. Now let's just go straight into the next mission here. So what you want to do, you can actually load your rover right back up. It doesn't save in between missions for some reason. 
but we'll load it right back up and we'll uh, try out the next one here. All right, so when you go into the next mission, you can see that it's blank here. So if you have your rover saved, you can just go ahead and pick it back up here. So this is our rover that we conquered the first mission. I wouldn't say conquered. That was actually a, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I feel like we need to make one quick adjustment. The only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the systems the same, but I'm going to lower the steering down maybe two blocks. I'm going to lower the rear maybe two blocks to give us a bit more ground clearance. And if I can, I might even delete these cross beams because those are actually causing some harm at the moment. Or maybe we'll call these a support beams down here. So let me do that. Uh, we'll probably speed it up here. And let's do this real quick and try to make this work a little bit better. All right, so we've made some minor adjustments here. Just made it a little taller. I believe everything, it looks even. Okay, so we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and set this on the ground, make sure everything still functions. Do we still have turning? Yes, we do. Seems like the uh, the taller we made the front turning, the uh, a little bit more unstable it is. I do see it flexing quite a bit more too. So structurally, that is a bit, a bit wobbly. We probably could do like a cross beam there to try to make it a little bit better. But let's go ahead and try the second mission out real quick and see what happens. And oh, oh dear. Is that just a, is that almost like a straight fall off? Okay. Let's try to be careful here. Here we go. Okay, I got some craters to dodge here. Uh, the vehicle sliding around a bit. You know what would be kind of cool? Maybe we need to make like a six wheel vehicle here. Oh, this is actually, this isn't too bad. Here's where we would have got stuck the first time. So look at that. We're easing over those humps. Uh, might bottom out on this one. Nope, we're good. Go in between here. All right, we made that look somewhat, oh, that's a big hole. Hold on, we want to go around that real quick. We made that look somewhat easy there. That actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. Okay. All right, I guess we're going to go ahead. Let's go in and just look at the next mission real quick and see if it's something we can attempt. All right, so here's the next mission. We're going to try it with the same rover. This one looks like there's some more rocks, and this kind of looks tight, and there's something blocking the way. So let's go ahead and load up our rover from the last mission and let's go straight into it. We might need something to move some objects out of the way. So maybe like a battering ram or something. Uh, let's go ahead and drive over here. Correct the camera. There we go. Stop and teleport. Okay. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. This might be a little tricky here. Uh, let's ease our way through here. We're going to go in between these. We're going to go over these little humps here. Those humps are a bit more extreme, as you can see, we've already bottomed out here. Alright, here we go. Uh, question is, how heavy are those things right there? And did I lose another, did I lose a beam? Oh, I didn't even see that. Or did I delete a beam? Maybe I deleted a beam, oops. <laughs> okay, um, how heavy are these objects? These look like boulders. And, oh, yeah, you're definitely, you're gonna have to have momentum to hit those. Or you can have something that, like an arm that needs to just, just kind of maybe punch them out of the way because, yeah, this isn't going to work. I mean, I could probably ram into this thing about 20 times and it might knock it over, but you can definitely tell that there needs to be some sort of front to this. <laughs> let's give it, let's rock. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's some of the vehicle destruction. Broke a wheel off. All right, well, at least we know kind of where our limits are and what we need to build next. But anyways, we're probably going to wrap up this episode here. This is a kind of little in introduction into the game what it's about and how the building systems work. I do have a little bit I need to learn about this before I really dive into it. So if you guys want to see more of this on the channel, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm actually thinking that this has a lot of potential. It is in early access so though, so it's not like 100% done, of course. Uh, they're going to add some more missions. Maybe we'll get something like a sandbox mode, new parts, and anything else that they might add to this. So anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.